expressed belong to its participants and are not necessarily those of the management and staff of WRAL or Capital Broadcasting Company. It's time for answers to your medical questions and get an inside look at the latest in healthcare, technology, and treatments. This is Rex on Call. It's actually a Korean dish. Um, Get your tummies ready because you are in for a tasty treat tonight. Rex on Call is going behind the scenes and into the kitchens of some of the Triangle's most popular chefs to see what heart healthy dishes they can come up with. Hello everyone and welcome to Rex on Call live on WREL. I'm Sharon Delaney for UNC Rex Healthcare. Tonight we have three of Raleigh's finest chefs competing in our Love Your Heart cook-off. They're going to show you how to prepare some delicious delicious recipes that are not only pleasing to your palate, but they are also really great for your well-being. We're also going to announce the winner of your Love Your Heart Cook-Off social media contest that we have been featuring on Facebook. So let's get started. I'd like to introduce you to our guests tonight. We have three chefs vying for the Love Your Heart Cook-Off prize. Please welcome Chef Kim Hunter from Kimbap Cafe. Executive Chef James Castello from Zest Cafe, and Chef Ryan McGuire from the Chef's Academy. And our judges for the cook-off, and everybody's kind of dressed alike with all your chefs, co with your coats. So our, our chefs, uh, judges tonight are Executive Chef Ryan Conklin from UNC Rex Food Nutrition Services, Jim McGrody from Director of UNC Rex Food Nutrition Services, and Shelley Wegman, who is a registered dietitian at Rex Wellness Centers. Now, for those of you watching us from home or if you're streaming live on WRAL.com. We're not taking calls tonight, but you certainly can reach us directly. Send us your questions through social media on Twitter and on Facebook. Just tag us at Rex Healthcare or through Facebook with our Facebook page, or you can email us at rexoncall at rexhealth.com. All right, so before we show you the tasty dishes our chefs have prepared, Let's share with you some of the guidelines that they had to follow to create a heart healthy meal. The focus needs to be low in sodium and then make use of vegetables, whole grains and lean proteins. To be specific, the dishes must contain less than 750 milligrams of sodium and less than nine milligrams of fat. And to achieve these requirements, you probably have to avoid deep frying and curing the food. You'll also need to avoid using creams and butter and high fat cheese. So Chef Ryan Conklin from UNC Rex, planning healthy meals is a part of your job. You're taking care of patients from the kitchen. How do you go about doing that? Yeah, it's, it's, it can be difficult, but uh, one thing I found is you have to be a good planner, um, whether you're a professional chef or even a home cook. Um, cooking healthy can be easy, but you have to plan it out ahead of time. I find that we're using fresh vegetables as key, fresh vegetables and fruits. Um, if you use them, you really want to make sure they're in season, uh, so you're using them at their peak of freshness. Uh, lean, lean meats, as you said earlier, uh, chicken, turkey, even some lean red meats are good, and also the use of whole grains. And, and then also, we, we like to in, infuse flavor. We do that by marinating, grilling uh, in your marinades. We use a lot of acidity with uh, vinegars and citrus juices. And does that sort of take the place of salt or some heavy spices yeah. that you might normally douse on there? Yeah, that as well as uh, aromatics, which, is, which you're going to get from your garlic, shallots, and then your, uh, you know, of course your fresh herbs are key as well. If you want to cook healthy, you really need to have some fresh herbs. Fresh, right fresh, on hand. fresh. Yes. All right. Shelly, you also help out patients a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. In the grocery store, even yes. you even have to get to them before they start to in the kitchen. They have yes. to get started in the right rows of right. the grocery store. We do grocery store. store tours with our clients, and we walk around and look at what's available. And of course, again, the local fresh when it's in season. Uh, alternatives for when it's not using whole grains versus prepackaged foods. That herb and spice thing to replace the salt and looking, learning to read labels and recognize how much sodium is in your average condiment and how can you replace that? How can you still get flavor? And then working with chefs to get the cooking methods uh, so that you can have really flavorful food. At and home. you actually go with patients to the store yes. and show them how to properly shop. Yep, right? we do. Okay, Jim, at the hospital, I mean, you all have made a huge mark in this area because yep. the old days hospital food had a certain connotation, but that is not the case at UNC Rex. You have been awarded many times over. Tell us how you're able to keep up that kind of amazing quality. 
Well, the biggest thing is, is that you know, we started this journey eight years ago. We came in with a mindset that we were going to do something a little bit differently. We were going to look at healthcare food service and, and, and change it, so to speak. So we, we went in with a chef mentality. We, we converted a lot of our positions into chef positions, sous chefs and lead cooks. And we created this culture, of the, this culinary culture. And we just, every day we, we keep pushing ourselves to do even better. Um, we were the first hospital in North Carolina to remove our, our deep fat fryers, which we were really that proud of. That was a of. huge event. Was a oh, huge wow. Event. I didn't realize. You can't yeah. get, you, you can't even no get fried food. No. We, we took it off our patient menu a year wow. prior to our retail areas, and then we just did away with it all together. And it's been a huge, huge success for us. It's, you all really walk the walk. We mm -hmm. do. We're also, we buy, we, like Ryan mentioned, we buy a lot of whole grains. And the company we buy our whole grains from out of in the Midwest, we're the number one healthcare account they have in the whole country. So we're really kind of progressive that with says you know, a putting high-end, high-quality, nutritious food in our menus. So Excellent. And it shows. It shows yeah. you all have been awarded many times over. All right, so let's get some cooking going. Coming up, the Love Your Heart cook-off gets underway. We will take you to Raleigh Restaurant Kimbap Cafe, where Chef Kim Hunter is preparing pan-seared mahi with spring greens puree. You'll see step-by-step -step how to make this in your very own kitchen. It's never just one thing that makes a place unique. Around the triangle, you'll find a blend of the visionary right alongside the tried and true. At UNC Healthcare, we're building a system that brings together expertise and empathy. Those two things mean complete care for people all over the triangle and around the state. You still remember when you got the diagnosis. It was as if your whole world came to a stop. All the things you cherish. What didn't stop was the comfort and support you received from UNC Rex Cancer Care. Community-based care, combined with world-class, innovative treatment, tailored to your needs. It turns out your diagnosis wasn't the end of hope. It was really the beginning. North Carolina Heart and Vascular is hard at work providing exceptional cardiovascular care to you and your community. And because we're your neighbors, what matters most to us is getting you back to what matters most to you. Visit us at ncheartandvascular.com. Welcome back to Rex on Call and our Love Your Heart cook-off. Three talented chefs are going head-to-head -head in the kitchen, preparing heart-healthy dishes that satisfy your appetite and nutritional needs. First up is Chef Kim Hunter from Kimbap Cafe, home of Korean-inspired cuisine that's both local and fresh. Chef Kim Hunter, let's, let's watch her prepare her dish now. The dish I'm gonna cook today is a pan-seared mahi. Hi, my name is Kim Hunter, and my restaurant's name is Kimbap. Kimbap is, it's actually a Korean dish um, that translates to seaweed and rice. When I think about healthy, I think about natural. It's about using things that come from the earth. I just cut off a nice piece. I think this is a, probably about a four ounce portion. So we're gonna take our mahi and just season it a little bit with some salt and pepper. We're gonna take the mahi, we're gonna pan sear it. It should be really quick. It's not too thick of a piece, so it'll probably take about four or five minutes. This is a healthier way to cook the dish, but we're not using a whole lot of oil here, just enough to kind of get it moving around in the pan. Our next step is to prepare a fresh salad that'll go on top of our fish. We have some uh, fresh daikon radish greens for that. In the past five or 10 years, I've gotten to know a lot of farmers and um, learned more about cooking seasonally. So the salad dressing is made of garlic, hot pepper, actually a little bit of fish sauce and vinegar. I like to like massage the greens a little bit so they're not too tough. This is a spring pea puree. It looks really pretty and it tastes good and it's healthy. The next step is gonna be the fish. Radish green salad, just a little bit. Fresh greens are really healthy. I actually um, have a little bit of pickled radish. It's really pretty and it adds a lot of flavor. Our last step here is gonna be some microgreens. 
They have a lot of nutrition. And our finished dish here, this is our pan-seared mahi over our spring greens puree. Mmm, <laughs> delish. Chef Kim is here with us with our judges. So, Chef Kim, did you have to make any adjustments on your recipe to be able to meet the guidelines that were given to you? Um, you know, I actually didn't have to make a lot of adjustments. It's kind of the way that I cook. Um, I use fresh and seasoned fish, um, fresh veggies, and um, just like to kind of showcase the food in its natural state as much as possible. So this is kind of the way we do things at the restaurant. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Any questions, judges, for Chef oh, Kim? it's beautiful. Great job. This looks it's fantastic. Very all right. I would like to know, what would be a substitute for salt? Because I want to overdo salt all the time. Sure. Um, well, actually, as Chef Conklin mentioned, using more aromatics, there's ginger and garlic and then some hot pepper for just a little bit of heat. Sure. Some pepper. Mm-hmm. OK. All right. Judges, raise your forks. Get to it. <laughs> now, is this about the right proportion size? Yeah, it's a great portion size. It is a perfect portion. Okay. I think that's a mistake a lot of Americans mm. in particular mm. make as we overdo it with right. our proportions. But this yes. is more what we should be having. Is that right? I think mm -hmm. so. I, it's probably a little bit on the small side, but maybe add For one or two portion, ounces, but, okay. and that's about it. Or you could always mm. add more greens, Absolutely. right? And then you're not, mm -hmm. then you're not piling on too this many calories. Fantastic. Right. Mm. Very light. Nice. Very healthy. Mm -hmm. Very good. And I love the color from the green pure, um, pea puree there. Mm -hmm. That's great. It's yeah. real nice, fresh with the balances the fish very well. Yeah. Very nice. And, you know, we have the recipes online available for you at home, so you also can give your try at, at making this as well. And mm -hmm. it didn't take too long. About how long would you say, Kim? Uh, about 15, 20 minutes. Oh, mm -hmm. Probably not bad at cooking. all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the fit, I mean, fish cooks so quickly. Yeah. That's and the beauty while you're... Of it cooking your fish, you can prepare the other things and then bring them all together at the end. All right, very good, very all right. Mm. Good job, Thank you so much. Thank you. you all can continue having your little taste, <laughs> but it's time now for our second entry in our Love Your Heart cook-off. Chef James Castello offers contemporary American fare at Zest Cafe and Home Art here in Raleigh. So get your taste buds ready for yellowfin tuna and cucumber noodle salad. Fresh fruits are the key. We use a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruit. Hi, I'm James Costello and this is Zest Cafe. Today we're gonna to cook a tuna dish that's light and healthy with cucumber noodles and Japanese vegetables. Now this is the uh, marinade for the tuna. It's got uh, preserved lemon rind, uh, green coriander, um, some pink peppercorns, the brine from the preserved lemons, uh, pistachio oil, and some kosher salt and black pepper. I'm gonna season the tuna filet with uh, just a little bit of kosher salt and cracked black pepper. And then we're gonna take our food bag and place it, the tuna inside. We're gonna take the marinade, place that inside the bag with the tuna. So now that it's sealed, we're gonna place this in the hot water. You're gonna cook it at 108 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. Nice water. So now we're gonna make our Japanese dressing for the Japanese vegetables. This is rice wine vinegar, a little bit of granulated sugar, toasted sesame seeds, sesame oil, soy sauce, chili garlic, and just a pinch of salt and pepper. This is pretty healthy. It had very little oil in it, as you can see. We have carrots, red peppers, uh, snow peas, and green onions, and we're gonna put them in our Japanese dressing. Uh, these are cucumber noodles. Now we're gonna add our cucumber noodles and kale, topping the cucumber noodles with the Japanese vegetables. Now we're gonna add the black garlic mustard to the plate. We're gonna flavor the tuna with the pistachios and give it a little bit of a crust. This is our yellowfin tuna with cucumber noodle salad. It absolutely looks delightful. Chef James Costello joins us now with our judges. Chef James, did you have to do anything different to your dish to prepare it to fit the guidelines that were given to you? I did make a change. I was going to um, sear it at the end uh, in a little bit of canola oil to give it a crust. I talked to my sister-in-law, who is a dietitian as well. She recommended <laughs> I don't use the canola oil. Um, and so I omitted that 
and I gave it a little bit of crust using pistachios instead. So. Okay. Nice. So that was really just for an effect for almost like a texture effect? Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, judges, if you would like Very to get good. started giving it a try, love to. it sure. looks delicious. I probably should have asked for a fourth dish. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're preparing fish, um, do you typically always look for whatever is in season, what you can get fresh on a day-to-day -day basis um, in your restaurant? Yes, and especially with vegetables. Um, mm -hmm. These are seasonal vegetables right now, and, um, and but you always want to use this fresh and, and seasonal as you possibly always, can. Yeah. Yeah. We noticed in the taped piece when we were visiting your kitchen that you used a food bag. Yes. I don't have one of those kind of sealed deals at my house. Right, so right. could I do like a, a glad bag kind yeah, of thing? A Ziploc, a, a bag, Ziploc would work. bag would sure. work? Just make sure you get all the air out of it. Get all the air out. So yeah. you could still mimic the exact same thing. You could, yeah. Okay. Judges, do you have any questions for Chef James? Explain the sauce to me again. So that's uh, black garlic mustard. Excellent. So it's fermented garlic, um, which is super healthy. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of antioxidants, um, and uh, and then it's mustard and a few other ingredients in there. Terrific! So. This mm. is wonderful. I think the fish is cooked perfectly. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. The flavor of the cucumber noodles. Noodles. I, I'm Great. really addicted to. Thanks. And uh, probably will be taking some home. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> very, very well done. So fermented garlic. How do you even do that? Uh, a rice cooker and oh. just whole cloves of garlic and give it about a month on warm. Uh, did you say a month? Yeah, a month. <laughs> yeah. You can do it at your house, but you might want to do it outside. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know if my family could take a month of garlic. Right. <laughs> yeah, fermenting. Okay, very good. All right. Well, thanks so much. Looks delicious. Well, coming up, our third and final entry in the Love Your Heart Cook-Off. Put on your apron. We're going to head to the kitchen with Chef Ryan McGuire as he prepares stuffed pepper with a twist. I couldn't count the number of times over the last 25 years, the yo-yo diets, the programs that didn't work. I wanted to get off that weight loss roller coaster. To date, I have lost 124 and a half pounds. Rex gave me my life back. Every delivery tells a story. At Rex Women's Center, we believe that story should be a cherished experience. It should be about personal comfort, compassionate caring, confidence building, Continual guidance. Rex Women's Center provides a personalized, comfortable experience before, during, and after the birth of your baby. Rex Women's Center, chosen for excellence. Hi, neighbor. We're the dedicated team at the new UNC Healthcare Hillsboro campus, here to bring the exceptional medical care you'd expect from UNC closer to home. The new UNC Healthcare Hillsboro campus. Exceptional healthcare, incredibly close. When you're 502 pounds or 500 pounds, I never really once thought, hey, I'm sick. My thought was, I'm fat. It took me a while to realize really what Rex was. And it is a wellness center. It's about getting better. It's about healing. Welcome back to Rex on Call and the Love Your Heart Cook-Off. To reach us, just tweet us or Facebook your questions. Now, last but certainly not least, Chef Ryan McGuire from the Chef's Academy in Morrisville is preparing roasted stuffed peppers the healthy way. When I'm thinking about healthy eating, I'm, I'm thinking about seasonal ingredients and, and things that are in, in my garden or things I could purchase at the farmer's market. Hi, I'm Ryan McGuire, Chef Instructor at the Chef's Academy. I want to roast the pepper. I'm going to roast it directly on the stove top. If I don't have gas, I'm going to, I'm going to use the broiler in my oven. It enhances the flavor. Uh, also to take the skin off and just, just to cook it. See where it's kind of getting charred up there? I want it to be sort of evenly charred on all sides. We're going to cover it to finish cooking it a little bit longer. And uh, it's going to make it easier to take the skin off the outside of the pepper. The whole idea here is just to get the skin off the tomato. So once I see that the skin is starting to peel away from the tomato, I'm going to take it out of the boiling water and drop it into the ice water bath. And that's going to stop the cooking process. Just peel the skin right off. So we have our, our diced tomatoes without the skins, some coriander, some garlic, salt and pepper. 
I just wanted to blend it enough to make it into a nice sauce. Now we're just gonna push it through a strainer. So I'm just gonna chop this up really quickly so it'll puree really nice. This is the epizote and cilantro. I'm gonna add a little olive oil, salt and pepper. I'm gonna add the cooked buckwheat, some of the black beans. I saved some of my tomatoes. A teaspoon of toasted pumpkin seeds, some coriander, salt, pepper, and just a drizzle of olive oil. Take the seeds out of it. Now we're gonna stuff it. This is our tomato coriander sauce. Some of the epizote cilantro oil. I'm gonna take this pepper, and then I have some of those garnishes. They're edible flowers, they're a little bit peppery. I think they're delicious. So there's your stuffed pepper. It looks beautiful. Now, Chef McGuire, normally when I think of stuffed peppers, I always think of something like with ground beef or something maybe not quite so healthy. Tell us about the adjustments you made. Well, I mean, I was just thinking uh, using whole grain and beans in place of, pro in place of meats. Um, I was thinking seasonally, you know, we're, this is the first day of summer, so you can find uh, peppers and tomatoes at the farmer's market. And this is a great way to use, utilize those products. Very nice. Yeah. Now, two of the dishes tonight contain fish. Mm -hmm. And this one does not have any typical meat protein, but mm -hmm. has these beans and, and, and other sorts of protein. Is that a really good way to get your protein yes. and cut out some of the unhealthy stuff, yes. Shelley? Yes, if you're trying to cut back, we, we want to watch red meat because of the saturated fat and cholesterol. So smaller portions, really lean or grass-fed, so you have more omega-3. Fish is higher in omega-3 fatty acids, so that's why it's a good choice, but you want something like the cold Atlantic salmon, um, or your deep water fish mackerel, things like that, are terrific for that omega-3 fatty acids, okay. which make them heart healthier. But grains are a wonderful alternative if you don't want meat. So the whole grains, the beans, all of those are very high in protein. Excellent. Well, Jim's already got his fork <laughs> ready. ready. All right, so He's we're ready. ready. <laughs> Chefs, raise your forks, Thank please. Thank you. Well, this one almost looks too good to eat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so, so pretty. Beautiful. beautiful. Don't beautiful. be afraid of the edible flowers. Okay. Uh, okay, so we'll where, do we, where do you buy an edible flower? Serious. I grow them in my front yard. You are you can, kidding? Oh, you can grow them in the... Uh, what if you have a pet? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't want to eat them. <laughs> no, but honestly, if you if you were wanting to make something like this, do, can you purchase them at local grocers? Uh, I've or? seen I've seen some pretty fantastic mm. things at uh, places like Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, some local companies also that do some really fantastic microgreens and things like nice. that. Nice, but you could do like grow them yourself. Yeah, and, okay. grow them, this is a great time of year for it. It's a companion so plant. A it. mm -hmm. There's a little heat to the mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. Yes, very okay. good. Oh, well, let me tell you, folks. These recipes are all available on rexhealth.com, and you're going to want to try them. The taste tests are now done. Judges, we're going to ask you during this commercial break to begin your deliberations. And coming up after the break, we are going to announce the winner of our Love Your Heart cook-off, as well as the winner of our social media contest. We'll be right back. Within each child, there's the spirit of a champion waiting to emerge. At UNC Children's, we're committed to helping to achieve those dreams. As a leading children's hospital in the Southeast, we provide care to future champions of all ages. Our world-class care team represents all subspecialties. So no matter your child's condition, you can trust their care to us and leave the future up to them. We're champions of future champions. In every town in North Carolina, you find a blend of traits that make it unique. It might be grace, alongside grit, or creativity, meeting tradition. At the many places that are part of UNC Healthcare, you'll find expertise and empathy. That kind of care is our mission as a system across the state. Complete care for people all over North Carolina. Welcome back to the Love Your Heart Cook-Off, a competition between three local chefs who were asked to prepare heart-healthy dishes. We also held a contest on social media where we asked you at home to share with us your favorite heart-healthy dishes using some of the same criteria as our chefs. Some of those criteria were low sodium, low fat, lots of fresh veggies, and cooking techniques that keep the dish nutritious. So all entries were put into a drawing to win a free dinner from the restaurant of the winner of our Love Your Heart cook-off. And tonight, our winner from the social media contest is Tammy Sofield. So congratulations, Tammy. We will be in contact with you to get you your uh, prize. Now, 
on to the moment we've all been waiting for, surrounded by chefs right here. To recap, we had Chef Kim Hunter from Kimbap Cafe here in Raleigh, Chef James Costello from Zest Cafe, and Chef Ryan McGuire from a Chef's Academy, all competing to create a heart-healthy dish that is also pleasing to our palates. Our guest judges tonight were Executive Chef Ryan Conklin from UNC Rex Food Services, Jim McGrody, Director of UNC Rex Food Nutrition Services, and Shelley Wegman, Registered Dietitian at Rex Wellness Centers. So judges, you have chosen your winner. Chef Ryan, I'm gonna go ahead and let you tell very, us who the winner is. Very hard decision to make. You all very, did an excellent very, job. They all um, met the guidelines perfectly. They were beautifully presented. I mean, the presentation was just outstanding. It's almost, it's almost not fair. It's yeah. really <laughs> not. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is too hard. But as, as a team, we decided that the, uh, the, the last one, the stuffed pepper, had the most All flavor. right, so here we go. Look at our beautiful prize here. Congratulations. <laughs> To Chef McGuire, who is from the Chef's Academy, here is your prize, your memento for being a part of mm -hmm. our Thank Love you. Your Heart cook-off. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank I appreciate you. We really appreciate it. And if you want to review these tasty recipes from all of our chefs tonight, just go to RexHealth.com or visit the Rex Healthcare Facebook page. We'll also post the recipes there and have a tasty food video to show you how to make these meals at home. And as we say good night, we are also saying goodbye. This is our final Rex on Call program. After 10 years of award-winning shows, our program is transitioning from a traditional broadcast to a digital platform. You at home will still be able to access all kinds of helpful information about your health on UNC Rex's website at rexhealth.com. We also encourage you to sign up for UNC Rex's Your Life e-newsletter, where you'll learn the latest medical care and technology available to you right here, as well as getting access to more tasty recipes like we did tonight. Again, go to rexhealth.com and sign up now. Thanks again to all of our guests, and we loved having you being a part of our Love Your Heart cook-off. Again, congratulations to Chef Ryan and the Chef's Academy. Great, great job. Um, so, Love Your Heart cook-off. We look forward to uh, seeing